Welcome back to Velocity Lane here where Group 2 are getting set to go. And we're talking about sports production cars now then from 1956 to 1962. And this was a time, of course, when the manufacturers, uh, Porsche, MG, Jag and others started to realize that if you win on a Sunday, then you're going to sell it on a Monday. And then bigger brands like Ferrari got on the act a little bit later. And I'm pleased to say the man who I was chatting to at the uh, driver's lounge a little bit earlier on, Jeff O'Neill, is at the front. And Jeff, this is the 250 GTO that you mentioned to me about an hour ago. Yes, indeed. It's uh, one of the most special cars on the track. I'm very fortunate to be able to drive uh, this extraordinary car. I mean, it's absolutely stunning. Is this one that you've driven before, Jeff, or is this first time out in this? Uh, unfortunately, it's not my first time out. I've driven it a number of times, and it's one of the, of course, rarest cars in the world, and that it gets to come on the track and show everybody what a big V12 sounds like is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> What's the, what's the key to getting the best out of this car, do you think? What's it like to go through the gears and dip the clutch and get through that gearbox? Well, I think what makes 250 GTOs amazing is the balance and the power. I mean, these V12s, the, the smoothness of the torque, I mean, it's absolutely extraordinary. I mean, it gets driven with two fingers. Fantastic, Jeff. Very best of luck and enjoy your day out. Thank you. All right, let's go see what's happening next as we go to second on the grid. We should be able to find uh, Rob Stoker, who's in an Alpha Julieta Spider, just getting a tap on the helmet from his buddy there. Uh, Rob, great to see you here. Tell us about the car you're going out, and you're chasing a rather nice one there. And he's the, he's the owner of the whole event, so look after that one. That's beautiful. I mean, what Jeff O'Neill and Ryan Turi did in putting on this event, they've literally popped together the finest race cars in the world. It's like a museum that just came yeah. to life. Yeah. And if you're not here this weekend, you're missing out because this is really special stuff. Yeah. I can't believe that I can be out here with them. Ah, uh, mate, listen, you got yourself a great position to be in right now, but me and my pal Adam were just looking at these cars lined up, and he said to me, oh, look at that Alpha in second. He said, that is a beautiful car. It really is. <laughs> Tell us about it. Thank you. I'm trying to represent Alfa Romeo well, but, yeah. <laughs> but these guys have a lot of power, and they have beautiful cars, but hopefully we'll put on a little bit of a show for you all. Really good stuff. Well, listen, enjoy your drive, and thanks for talking to us. Thank you very much. Let's slide on back then now as we kind of make our way down. We find the number 173 car, which is another Ferrari. This time, I think what we've got here is a 250 GT, and I'm just going to jump in and try and get a word with the driver if I can. Stay right there. Is it OK? Is it OK? Sorry. Thank you, sir. Uh, hello, sir. Hi. Tell us about what you're going on in, another one of the Ferraris. Yep, uh, short wheelbase. 1961. And uh, is this your car? Or you drive it with somebody else? Because I'm oh, just oh, double checking, oh. Rob Walton. Yeah, that's me. That's you, Rob. Come on, then. Tell me about this car and tell us what it's like uh, when you take around the track here at Sonoma. Oh, this is a great track. I love uh, coming here. Great event, just uh, over the top event. Uh, it's really nice to be here. Really is an over the top event. What I enjoy about watching you guys race, though, is you're in these priceless machines, but you do, you are actually racers. You're going to start to uh, get the hammer down a bit, aren't you? Well, Jeff has put on an event here that encourages us to bring out uh, these great cars. Driving standard is really high. You know, you're not going to get bumped. Uh, you just got to keep the shiny side up and behave. But uh, but it's it's great to be able to bring a car out for this event. Yeah, it really is. You said there, you've got to keep the shiny side up and behave. But like I say, we kind of there are trophies at the end of this. So there's there's uh, you know there's wins at stake. There's kudos at stake, isn't there? Come the end of the weekend. Yeah, yeah. We're having we just had a great time though this weekend. It's yeah. just been fantastic. What do you make of the circuit here at Sonoma? We've moved from Laguna Seca. From a driver's point of view, is Sonoma one that you enjoy, Rob? Well, I love this track. I like this for this event. I think this track is better than. Uh, than uh, Monterey. I love Monterey too, but this is a little bit more intimate experience. Uh, challenging track, great facilities on the track. Uh, 100%. All right, well, listen, sir, thanks for talking to us. Best of luck and go well. Enjoy it. Thank you. We'll have a good time. All right. All right. So let, let's just have a little look. Uh, who we got next? Car number 49. Let's just see if we get a quick word with one more, because this looks absolutely stunning, doesn't it? Uh, let's have a look at this. We've got the A-Bath name on the side there. Hello, sir. A stunning car, beautiful Porsche. Tell us about what you're going out in. Yeah, thank you. Well, I'm going to race with the big boys. They've all got 300 horsepower. I've got 140. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. But it's a beautiful car, and I love driving it. 140 horsepower and a nice lightweight package. Those should be good fun around the corners. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It moves around quite a bit, yeah. but uh, I've driven this car for a long time, and it's just really a pleasure to drive. I really enjoy bringing it up to show the crowd. 
great stuff. And is this the first time that you've uh, raced it at Sonoma or have you been around this circuit before? I've been around probably for 20 years. Wow. So I've got a few laps. What's the key to doing well here at Sonoma? I like, I like watching when you come sort of the second half of the lap, there's some flowing lines as you make your way down sort of towards turn 11. The, the turns that come into that section look really flowing and really good fun. Yeah, you know, so this uh, track is a very technical track and you really got to be on your mark at all times. And it basically is a momentum track. And so if you can get to the point where you're breaking at 4, 7 and 11, you've got a chance. Well, listen, best of luck. I'm just double checking. I'm chatting to car number 49, Ransom Webster. Thank you. Enjoy uh, the race. Well, listen, very best of luck. Johnny Green, our commentator, will keep his eyes on you for sure. He's going to enjoy watching this one go out. Go well. Thank you.